Hey, what is up, everybody? It's Business Pig, and welcome to The Crooked Man. Now, this is a game that I watched Markiplier play way back when, um, and I I downloaded it the same day that I watched his video uh, of the first playthrough, and I played the entire thing through myself, and I have played it so many times since then. This is one of, if not my all-time favorite horror game. The Crooked Man is part of a trilogy. Uh, there's The Crooked Man, uh, The Boogeyman, and The Sandman which I will be playing all on my channel, so you might want to subscribe and stick around so that uh, you can watch all the playthroughs for all of those. I love horror games, in case you can't tell. Also, I just wanted to let everyone know, I got my PC now. I got my gaming PC. I got my uh, digital storm in after, what, four months of waiting for it to finally arrive. I got the whole setup ready. Uh, now I literally just need a webcam, but I don't know which one to get. So if anyone has any suggestions on like really good webcams, um, leave it down in the comments below because I definitely want to know. Anyways, on to the video, on to playing the Crooked Man. I, I love this game. I can't say it enough. I'm just so excited. I don't have to record on the uh, the PlayStation anymore on the PS4. I can record on my PC, and I've been waiting to be able to do that for so long. This game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those poor with horror should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Paul, whew, finally, things look tidy in here. Marion, that should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. I should give these guys voices. All the characters need voices. Ooh, nice! The three of us could go out drinking! That's gonna be Paul's voice. Uh, I look forward to it already! Marion. Cliché. Well, we'd better be going. Got it. Be careful, you two. I'm all alone in my apartment now. A box of tissues. A phone. An empty trash can. It's been years since I played this game. I love horror RPGs so much. There's a large crack in the wall. And that's what uh, the whole trilogy is. The Boogeyman, the Salmon, the Crooked Man. Um, there's so many I want to play on my channel. There's Paranoiac, there's Mermaid Swamp, Witch's House, an old TV. Uh, something Father. There was one, another one that Markiplier played. Um, it was something father. I can't remember what it was, but. A refrigerator. A stove. Ooh, wait, there's something on the table here. Huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. Oh, I forgot my apartment was fairly big. Huh? You hear someone. What's with that place? Seriously, it's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Interesting. The phone's ringing. Hello? Hello, who is this? Shirley?
I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Well, I guess it's bedtime. Man, I'm tired. Me too. Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. Uh, maybe not right now. You know, you can continue sleeping. Two OC, two two OC. How did I read that as two OC? Two O six looks empty. Two O three. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just, I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. You better. I'm going to turn down the mixing on the sound real quick, because I feel like the game's audio is very loud. Okay. We should be good now. Sorry for the short pause. Uh, I hear water running. I didn't even read that. I clicked it too fast. Hmm? Under the bed. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Let's look under the bed. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Hmm? Found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. Writhing? Writhing? Why am I dyslexic today? What is it about this game? It just made me dyslexic. Okay. I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll go to bed. Pretty brave going to bed after finding a note written in mist on your mirror and another note under your bed, especially one like that. That sounds still. Where's that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. The phone. The phone is ringing. The phone will be right there. Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean just... I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay? Bye. Man, I slept into noon. I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. Sleeping until noon is not good. Hey, it's Paul! Paul? What is it? Y yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but... Whew, thanks! So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Write something on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? S sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. And we're at the hospital. No need to go in here. Uh. I heard the laugh. Very last door. Mom's hospital. 
Oh, it's his mom. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good. You look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. Ugh. I was gonna say aw, but I started yawning. Aw. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh, yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh? Who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who, who are you? Say something, will you? Ma, ma Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him now! Mrs. Hoover! Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom! Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here, Davy, please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But, but she said my- I said leave! <laughs> Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Ooh. Ooh. Bring the sedatives! That's so sad. I feel so bad for David. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah. Though, I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes. She's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. I sound like Bird Person. Why, does, why did I give this Dr. Bird Person's voice? It's okay, we'll go with it. Thanks. I hope you can help her. David's situation is so sad. Hello? Something else in the bathroom today? Anything? Or just a creepy noise. Is it time for bed? I think it's time for bed. Is it not? I guess it isn't time for bed. A sink? A stove? Nothing. A refrigerator. I'm just reading all the same stuff. Is it... Not many clothes inside. An old computer. Oh, was the chair moved? I think the chair was moved. Maybe? 
Did I move that chair? Yeah, that's what I thought. Did I move that chair? Hmm? There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet from school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Huh. So what do I have? So I have a lighter. Uh, oh, uh, cell phone, cigarettes, lighter, notebook scrap, and then law school leaflet. Probably along to the former tenant. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make the first save. Oh, and the phone's ringing again. Who could it be this time? Is it Shirley? It's Shirley back. Hello. Hey, David. Oh, hey, David. How are you doing? Huh, you just saw me the other day. I read that completely wrong. It's okay. We're going to go with it. I didn't do anything wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. That says what I said. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry. I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right. See ya. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Whoa, TV static. That is loud TV static. But why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Let me turn the volume down for that one thing. What did that say? What? This is creepy. Did, did it say sink? What was that? The sink in the kitchen? Hmm? There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant? This is so strange. I should just sleep and forget about it. Well, you know... If you're being told that all of these letters are here from the TV magically turning on and someone writing it in the mist on your mirror in your bathroom and chairs magically moving that you didn't move, you know, I would be a bit more suspicious. I wouldn't just assume it was the previous tenants, you know, but that's just me moving for a change of pace, huh? guess that's not working so well. Appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... But what? But what, David? Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Heh, <laughs> maybe they're lost. I should go check. You should go check. Just, just checking out the apartment real quick. Just want to make sure everything's clear. Let's go. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Huh? Did something break in my apartment? What was that? Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait. What? Help me. The, the coffee says... You gotta be... This room is really, really strange with its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? That's what I'm saying. Gotta be more suspicious, David. Gotta be more cautious. Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah. What? 
Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like you forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Hello, landlady. Hello. Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something. You see, about the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago, said to leave the furniture and use it however. And you wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. N n no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty, sorry I wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder... Oh well. I'll get back to my room. Can I just leave the building? Can I go outside? No need to go out? I mean, you can get some fresh air or something. You know, it wouldn't hurt. Oh. There's some footprints in my apartment. That lead into the crack in the wall. That's unnerving. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. That's what I said. Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key. This key's pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here. So I wonder where. Where could it go? The guy's voice, the kid's voice, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. <laughs> it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. That's pretty dark, David. You're getting pretty dark there. Are you Are you okay, bud? I, I know you don't live the happiest life, but are you okay? But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Time to go to bed. Yet again. What? Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Could it be the crack? No. Where is it coming from? Is it the phone? Look at tissues. Maybe it's inside the building, but not inside the apartment. I hear something in the room. Aha, it came from in here radio what's why is this in my closet not to mention turning on by itself huh there's something on this paper here it's an address our special place where's that supposed to be got a paper with an address hmm we gonna go to our special place can I actually go? Am I just allowed to go now? Is that, where, is, is that the plan? Is that what we're doing? I don't need to go out. Oh, I thought we were going to... I shouldn't bother her again. I did not mean to do that. Our special place. Can I look at it? It's our special place with an address. So it doesn't say 
Okay, so what, do I just go back to bed? Oh my gosh! I'm waiting for you. Uh, I'm... I'm waiting for you. What? Why did... How and when did it... Ah! That was the first jump scare. I didn't like that. We're at Paul's now, it looks like. So, you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I sh should be sorry for coming over so late. <laughs> wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds' love nest. Hey, why you... <laughs> Just kidding. I'm trying to make, trying to make David a, a bit more of a depressed character. That seems to be where he's at, considering he doesn't even care if ghosts haunt or kill him. I mean, I can see where he's coming from, though. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. <laughs> I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Oh, yeah. I heard from Marion. Oh, I accidentally skipped the whole thing. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. I have no idea what he said. You guys can pause the video and go back and see if you want. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital, and the girl I wanted to marry ran for me. Is that who Shirley was? Is Shirley... I can't remember. It's been so long. Is Shirley the girl that I was going to marry? That David was going to marry that ended up running away? I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how it plays out. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Huh. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know? Ooh, great idea! Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet! Send a postcard! Breakfast's ready, Paul! David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Aw, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. There! Looks like this address is in the mountains, about a five-hour drive. Oh, so we're going to the address that was on the note. That's the little trip he wants to take. The special place. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Well, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. I mean... You said you didn't care if they haunted you, or... Ah. I'm not even that tired. Why am I yawning? You said you didn't care if they haunted you or even killed you, but now you're sick of the place. It's all right. I get it. I get it. Prologue. David's room. End. Looks like we're out in a field. Ooh. Jeez, it's gotten dark. But this is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? I guess I'll have to check. What's this line say? I didn't think I could walk behind it. A faded board. Hotel Ruinheim. Giving you a serene stay. A hotel register. Clock is stopped. A landscape painting. Staff only. There's wire around the doorknob. 
Well, might as well have a look around. A look Rooney. 101 through 107. I found that brass key. Did it go there, or did I just... Accidentally. It's locked on the passcode. Hmm. Doesn't look like a building like this would even have any... Technology advanced enough as uh, passcodes. Or as passcode locks, I should say. So all the keyholes are painted over for almost every single room except for a few. And I'm guessing, if I remember correctly, those will be ones that we can unlock. Ooh, here's the dining hall. Nice. The lounge. Today's program, Schubert, three piano pieces. Can I play it? Am I Schubert? Can I give the performance? What's this? A mounted deer. That does not look like a deer. Looks, that looks like an alien. Nothing. Oh, here's the bar. Oh, the bar's locked. Too bad. David seems like the type of person that would like the bar. Am I wrong? Okay, last hallway. So many doors to look through. Ooh, here's another one. Ooh! Hello? There's a scrap from a notebook in the dresser. It's found a notebook scrap. But what does it say? It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page. It matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. So he got dumped, huh? The note at home did mention that. And our special place. He came here with her. Where could he be? I mean, it's been a month. You really think he'd still be here? Looks like I can't use those beds. That's all right. Door's locked. There's a notice on the door. Due to employee in in Hello. I'm gonna slow down and restart that. Due to employee incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporarily closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. That's better. Love when my brain shuts down and I can't read anything anymore. Will this be my room? Looks like the bathroom. Can I just check it out? Something on the shelf. Treasure hunt. Me, dear mom, dad. Treasure hunt. I guess some kid staying here drew this. <laughs> sure. I'll look for your treasure. What's the treasure? Do I not have it? Is this it? What? I don't know where the treasure could be. Hello, anyone here? Where was the dining hall? Was that... I think the dining hall was upstairs. Let me check. If I can get up the stairs. Apparently I can't speak and I can't move upstairs. Okay. Because that's what the picture looked like. Something under the table. I found a gold key. There's paper inside it. You found the treasure. Congrats. What does it go to? This one. Oh, that's already open. Um, how about this one? Staff only. I'd be concerned if there was wire around the knob. Just a little bit. Can I get into the bar? Nothing. 
Uh, might as well save. I haven't saved in a minute. Spastic saver. Just gotta keep saving. Spastic saver here. What else is there to unlock? Like, I know it's not any of these because the keyholes are painted over. Is it this? Use the gold key, the library. Oh, is this another key? Got the key to 109. The owner's collection of books, please read at your leisure. Cry of the Unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside and they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your kindness and they will drag you away. Some kind of a cult book? I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into that stuff for his age. Weird. It's called Cry of the Unseen. Hang on. I got my phone with me real quick. I'm going to look up to see if that's an actual book. Cry of the Unseen. Cry of the Unseen. No. It is not a real book. The only thing that came up was Dreams Unseen, Cry of the Dragon. And something tells me that isn't it. At least I don't think so. Might be the same thing. Maybe they changed it for purposes. Copyright purposes. What the? That sound. I don't know. I'm going on weird tangents. A decorative plant collecting dust. Packed tight with books from zero to P. Or, oh, zero to P. O to P. I'm just going to look at every bookshelf here. Okay. Maybe I won't find anything just yet. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll go to 109 instead. Hello? There's someone there. Where am I? So this would be, yeah, two. Okay, so 109 would be over here, wouldn't it? Right? Yeah, 108 to 115. Ooh, there's something on top. How can I reach it? Can I drag a chair over? What is it? What's on the dresser? I got wire cutters. And we... Looks like the bathroom. Oh! Someone's playing the music. Someone's playing the piano. Well, wire cutters will very clearly go here. Is that piano playing coming from the second floor? Yes, it is, but we don't need to worry about that. Why would you want to go and investigate the piano playing, okay? Can't we just use the wire cutters and cut open what very clearly has wires wrapped around the handle so we can get into the staff room? Okay, no, okay. Oh my gosh! Why did you run in like that? David, calm down. Who's there? He yells. David, you are now scarier than everything else that has happened. <sighs> That gave me a heart attack. Why'd he run in like that? Ah. I'm sorry. I, I just came in and the piano looked nice, so I, um... Sorry I yelled at you. I'm not on staff at the hotel or anything. Who are you, then? I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm Sissy. Huh. Sissy, then. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know. Is that a threat, David? Are you threatening, sissy? 
I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No. I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies, but I'm not leaving until I find it. Right. Well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here for a while longer, so I could help you find it. R really That would be great! Okay, please help! Just do me a favor too, though. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. I'll be going then. Um, David, you be careful too. Man, what am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like the shady one here. That's what I'm saying! You are, David! You're being sus. Now I can use the wire cutters. I was like, what do I do next? Staff only. There's wire on the doorknob. Not anymore, because I got the wire cutters. Cut the wire with the cutters. What's in here? There's no doorknob. Huh? I hear something. Should I have looked at the rest of the room before doing this? Is somebody locked in there? I should find some way to open it. Owner's room. Four chapters of the book have mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. Is that Cry of the Unseen that they're talking about? Is that the book that I was reading? Oh, unless it's this. Is it this? A notebook. OX. Door in room 107 bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on this page. Got the key to 107. And gotta fix the bathroom. One of the journals and account books. What's that? Line with tourist magazines for the area. Hmm. There's no door to You hear a faint sort of voice inside. Okay, and then 107 would be the last room over here. Right? Or would it be this last one? Never mind. No, let's lock up the passcode. It would be this one. There! Third time's the charm, I guess. Anything on the dresser this time? Clock have anything in it? That's a suspicious looking clock. No, but the bathroom needs fixing. I do remember that. A doorknob. Oh, yeah, that journal mentioned something about door repairs. They just left the doorknob sitting on the floor? How responsible. Hmm, maybe it would work on that door without a knob. It's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. Can I use it on this one? No? Okay. We'll save it for the other one, then, and let this person that was apparently locked in here out... Attach the doorknob. There's nobody in here. Book of the Month. The Strange Case of Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde. A phone. Huh. Just books. But there's a trap door. A small door which won't open. It doesn't seem to have a lock. So why won't it open, then? Are you just weak, David? What do I do, then? Landscape painting... Oh, wait, can I go to the library and look for the strange case of Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde? Is that something I can do? What does this say? I don't think I ever read this. Norse collection... Oh, yeah, I did. I read that. E to F. Let's look at all these. Strange. Oh, I guess it's not there. Huh. I guess I'm not meant to look for a book?
Sorry. Just just browsing. You know. Just chill, just relax for a second while I look through all these books. I'm just looking through every single one. You know, just to be safe. I don't know what to do now. And where'd that lady go? Kind of suspicious she just disappeared. I haven't seen her again. It's locked. Is there anything else I can do in this room? Small door which won't open. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else to do here. Interesting. Well, I guess the only thing I can do right now is just roam the halls. You know, what else What else are you going to do? What do I have? I still have a brass key. What is the brass key to? To the bar, maybe? I can't even use it. Okay. Something tells me I should go back to the piano room. Anything in here at all? It's completely dark out. Landscape painting. Huh. What to do? Well, it seems I can't find what to do, so that's it for the first episode. I hope all of you enjoyed the first episode of The Crooked Man. If you have any other game suggestions on what you want to see played, comment them down below. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.